Hello and welcome to my 18th split screen tutorial. And in this tutorial, as you can see, I have started out with a blank program. And I've just created a cube and positioned it at 0 on the x, 0 on the y, and 5 on the z. And today I will be teaching you uh, three new commands. And their names are entity yaw. Well, actually, entity pitch first. Entity pitch, entity yaw, sorry, down, and entity row. And these three commands, they commit, they, uh, they control the rotation of a certain entity on all three axes. This entity pitch it controls the rotation on the x axis. So the x-axis and it rotates it around that x-axis. This rotates entity yaw, it rotates it around that y-axis. So it just rotates them like this. I don't know if you can see my cursor well, but whatever. You'll you'll see, I'll show you an example. And entity row controls the rotation around the z-axis. And that just rotates it like that. Just plainly like that. And, yeah. So let's get started. First, when we use the variables, we always assign them as pitch, yaw, and row. And then we set them equal to themselves plus some value. That's how much you want to rotate it on. For now, I'll just try pitch, just to show you. And pitch equals pitch plus stu1. And then we need to, since we didn't say, like, entity, rotate, cube, blah, 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 blah. And since we, instead of just saying if, a key down something, then rotate entity cube by that value on the x, we can choose a much simpler way of doing this. Sorry, well. We can choose a much simpler way of doing this by just assigning... At the end, just assigning them to rotate. All right, just assigning the cube to rotate by those values. So entity rotate cube. Sorry, entity rotate what? Oh, rotate entity. Sorry, rotate entity cube, comma pitch pound yaw pound and roll. Pound. Pound. Yeah. Alright, so here, that's that's all it does. It's just going to rotate it by these values, by pitch, yaw, and row. And so far, we only have pitch aside. So if we run it, we see our slowly rotating cube here. And if we put it on the negative instead of plus one, minus one, then it would rotate it otherwise, the uh, other way. And, and now I'm just going to show you examples for each of them. Yaw is equal to yaw pound plus one. Run it. And here it just rotates around that axis. Just slowly rotating it. You want to speed it up? Just change the value to plus 100. Let's see how that looks. Wait. There. That's really fast. So. <laughs> and if we just try roll, I can show you what that is. Row pound is equal to row pound pound plus one. Hit F5 and now it rows it. There we go. Basically it. And if you want to, if you want to see, you can actually rotate it on multiple axes. So let's just try pitch pound equals pitch pound plus one, and yaw pound is equal to yaw pound plus one. That works. Now you see, oh, what, sorry. There. We see our cube rotating on multiple axes. And instead of just rotating it automatically, let's just set up some controls by using the one, two, and three keys. We can, let's try the one key will be to roll it if we down two which is the one key, then row, blah, 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 whatever we wrote there, and space, if key down 
3, which is the 2 key, then blah, blah, blah. If key down 4, which is the 3 key, then blah, blah, blah. So we have it set up. Run that. Now we see that our cube isn't moving because we need to move it manually. So one key, row, two key, pitch, three key, yaw. And yeah, so just try having fun with this, experimenting with it. And in the next tutorial, I will create a brief intro to types. So, and I'll explain what that is if you have no idea what the heck that is. So, see you guys. And, yeah.